Fascial distortion model is a framework for understanding musculoskeletal pain through distortions in the fascia. Folding distortion is one of the key fascial distortions, particularly affecting joints and muscles. What is a folding distortion? A three-dimensional alteration in the fascial plane, found in hinge-type joints like the wrist, elbow, shoulder, or areas between muscles and bones. Described by patients as a deep internal pain, with a painful range of movement but typically no loss of joint motion. Patients refer to it as their usual pain, or describe the joint as feeling unstable. Understanding the mechanism. Fascia in joints works like an accordion, opening and closing smoothly. A folding distortion occurs when this movement gets stuck, either in an open or closed position, similar to a roadmap being twisted and folded incorrectly. Unfolding injuries happen when a joint is overstretched. Examples include bungee jumping or a dog pulling on a leash. Refolding injuries occur when the joint is compressed, such as when jamming your wrist or fingers. Body language and practitioner insights. Patients often cup the joint with their hand or press deeply between muscles or bones to alleviate discomfort. As a practitioner, folding distortions can't be directly felt because they occur inside the joint, between muscles or bones. A folding distortion happens when the fascia, which is the connective tissue around muscles and joints, gets stuck after a movement, like when you twist or fold something and it doesn't return to its normal position. There are two subtypes of folding distortions based on how the injury occurred. 1. Refolding distortion occurs when the fascia gets compressed and twisted, like in a fall on an outstretched arm. 2. Unfolding distortion happens when the fascia overexpands and twists, getting stuck in an open, unfolded state such as when you're suddenly pulled in an unexpected direction, like by a dog on a leash. Treatment approaches. Refolding distortion. Treatment. To treat refolding distortion, the same forces that cause the injury must be applied, so a compression injury should be treated with compression. Forcing the fascia to unfold is not correct and could make the pain worse. The goal is to refold the tissue in a way that is painless and feels correct to the patient. Unfolding distortion treatment. For unfolding distortion, traction, pulling, is applied to help the tissue unfold properly. These injuries are treated by removing the pressure and allowing the tissue to naturally return to its normal state. Patient feedback is critical and treatment should always be painless. Key takeaways. Refolding distortion, treated with compression and must recreate the forces that cause the injury to properly heal. Unfolding distortion, treated with traction, pulling, helping the fascia return to its natural state. In both cases, treatment should be painless and guided by the patient's feedback. Understanding the difference between refolding and unfolding distortions is key to effective treatment in the fascial distortion model, FDM. By recreating the injury in a controlled, painless way, you can help the fascia return to its normal function, alleviating pain and restoring movement.